Hello developers! Welcome to DevKit Weekly. I'm Ken Briota, Senior Technology Editor at Embedded Computing Design, and this week on DevKit Weekly, we're going to take a look at the PSOC 4000T CapSense Prototyping Kit from Infineon. Now, this PSOC4 is a family of scalable MCUs with an ARM Cortex M0 Plus CPU. The new PSOC 4000T series provides an upgrade path for the 4000 and 4000S designs to move them to fifth generation HMI and CapSense technology with an ultra low power touch HMI solution based on an integrated always on sensing technology. Infineon has improved performance in the 4000T to enable modern UI solutions, better liquid tolerance, and more robustness and reliability in harsh environments and conditions. It's a microcontroller with standard communication options and timing peripherals, but Infineon says its fifth generation CapSense and Multisense HMI technology are purpose-built for low power applications like wearables, hearables, and really any other smart connected IoT products that need great performance and power efficiency to enable their next generation of user experience. But I've got a little treat for you. Hidden right here in plain sight is the actual prototyping kit for the PSOC 4000T. I'm gonna open it right now for the first time. There we go. Oh, it says uh, PSOC rocks right inside there. Now, if you take a look here, sealed inside that little package is a clever little board. This prototyping kit has the 32-bit MCU subsystem with a 48 megahertz ARM Cortex MO Plus CPU with single cycle multiply up to 64K of flash with read accelerator and up to 8K of SRAM. So it's designed to be low power and it is with 1.71 to 5.5 volts uh, operation and a deep sleep mode with just six microamps, always on touch sensing, sensing and active touch detection and tracking at an average of 200 microamps. This fifth generation CapSense features all new ratio metric sensing architecture in multi-sense uh, converter low power. It has an excellent signal to noise ratio at less than five to one and great liquid tolerance for capacitive sensing. There's no shortage of ML and AI options either with autonomous channel scanning, advanced proximity sensing with directivity and automatic hardware tuning with Infineon Smart Sense. Now for serial communication, this prototyping kit includes two independent runtime configurable serial communication blocks with reconfiguration, reconfigurable I2C, SPI, or UART functionality in one block with master-slave I2C functionality in the other. It has both timing and pulse width modulation and two 16-bit timer counter pulse width modulator blocks. Comparator-based triggering off kill signals, Quadrature uh, decoder, plus or minus 2% internal main oscillator, 40 kilohertz internal low power oscillator, up to 21 programmable GPIO pins that can have sensing or digital functionality, and really, honestly, lots more. The PSOC 4000T CapSense prototyping to kit from Infineon is an amazing choice for any engineer or developer looking to work on a prototype for any new wearable, like smartwatches, smart glasses, AR VR headset glasses, or smart earbuds. It's also set for low power battery operated smart home devices like thermostats, robotic vacuums, smart locks, remote controls, and smart speakers. And it even works for appliances and peripherals like range hoods, coffee makers, microwaves, ovens, printers, and access controls, you know, th those kinds of things. We encourage you to check out one of these prototyping boards at infineon.com. You'll see the full link in the description there uh, down below and explore all the possibilities. Each one is going to cost eh, just over 20 bucks, so super easy to get going. And if you want to win one of your very own, Infineon has generously uh, made this one available 
for you to grab. You just enter our raffle. So to enter the raffle, uh, you go to the link down in the description there, fill out the form. We're gonna keep the form up for around a month, about 30 days. And then if you win, you'll be notified by email. So good luck to everybody out there. Make sure you enter. We do typically get tons of entries. So make sure you get yours in there. Please like and share this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode of any of our shows. Keep up with all the news in Embedded. Make sure you visit us at embeddedcomputing.com every day and follow us on our socials. All the links are down in the description down below. That's it for this edition of DevKit Weekly. I've been Ken Briota with Embedded Computing Design, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next edition of DevKit Weekly.